crown shot, but can I get them in the light up cup, the light up glasses? Thank you, sir. So here's a quick summary of me when I go on a cruise. <sighs> Your boy, man, we just left about an hour ago. Your boy is already turned, man. Okay, so now keep in mind, at this point of this cruise, if I was to walk outside, I could still see Galveston, Texas. We were literally that close to the land we just left. And I'm already three or four drinks in. And as I'm drinking this drink, I'm heading up to a bar. So not even 10 minutes after this, this happened. So, I have to to the bar. Hey! <laughs> nice. Enjoy. Thank you. Now, my point in telling you all of this and showing you this is to just let you know that when it comes to this subject that I'm getting ready to talk about, you all are in some very, very, very excellent hands. So sit back, get your drink, get ready to enjoy this because you are going to love it. And if you do love it, do your boy a favor and subscribe. For one, it helps me out, keeps me motivated to make other videos and other awesome content for two and really most importantly it's going to keep you updated on everything cruise related that i speak about or anything that i do so hit that subscribe button hit that little bell icon that way you're going to get every video that i put out all right let's go All right, let me get this out the way. I don't want anybody to have the wrong information. Drinking age on cruise ships is 21 years of age. All right, so now that we got that taken care of, let's talk. What I wanna talk about first is pre-ordering drinks to be delivered to your room. What do I mean by that? Well, most cruise lines, if not all of them, have an option on their website where you can actually order drinks before your cruise and they'll be delivered to your room typically on the first day i've done this numerous times and there are a lot of benefits to this so let me speak about those benefits and i'll break them down one by one the first one i want to talk about is you can save money by having drinks pre-ordered if you don't drink a lot if you have a bottle of liquor pre-ordered to be delivered to your room you can actually bring sodas or energy drinks on board so you can make your own mixed drinks in your room. That way, you don't have to spend money at the bars and you can use your hard earned money on other things like booking shore excursions or having a good time at the casino if you gamble or shopping at the onboard shops. This next one hits home big time because I actually cruise solo a lot. When you cruise solo, you don't want to be solo the whole cruise. Even if you're not really an outgoing person, you still want to meet at least a couple people. So a good way to meet people if you're shy is to notice what they're drinking. And hey, I have so-and-so in my room. Would you like a shot? Or do you drink this? Or it even starts conversations. An example of that is, one of my biggest business partners to this day. I met him because we started talking about Crown Royal and I told him I had some in my room that I pre-ordered. And we had a couple shots, we started talking business. 
and boom before you know it we're on our way to the empire one thing a lot of new cruisers don't know is when you buy liquor in the onboard shops you don't get that liquor until the end of the cruise and it's the same if you buy it in port you don't get that liquor until the end of the cruise so that's another good benefit of pre-ordering drinks you can have your liquor in your room whenever you want to even if the bars are closed you can go have your drinks Now, one of the questions I get asked a super amount of times, I even see it on social media a lot, is when it comes to drink packages, is it worth purchasing a drink package? This question really doesn't have an answer. That's so objective or subject. I don't even know the right word. But my point being is if you want something and you have the money to do it and you want to spend that money to do it, then go for it. There's no better way to find out if you're going to like something or not than to actually experience it. There's nothing wrong with getting advice from people, but I'm not going to go out and ask someone how I should spend my money, especially if I'm curious about it, because I'm just going to go ahead and do it. But anyway, I digress. So is the drink package worth it? Well, Different drink packages on different cruise lines cost different amounts of dollars. So that's really up to you to do your homework and kind of figure out if you're going to drink enough or, you know, I don't know how much you drink. It might not be worth it for you, but it's absolutely worth it for me. So it's hard to say if it's worth it or not. But for me, it's a no brainer. I drink a lot. I've been on numerous cruises when I didn't have the drink package, then I've been on cruises where I did have the drink package, and there's a big difference for me personally. As far as my bill, how much money I spent, oh my goodness, it's it's not even questionable. I will get the drink package from here on out, no matter what cruise ship or cruise line I sell on, I'm getting the drink package. Now, with that being said, let me explain what most drink packages include. Most drink packages on most cruise lines include most alcohols on the ship. There are a few that you still might not be able to get, but most of them you can get. Whether it's shots, beers, mixed drinks, tropical drinks, you know, whatever it is that you would like, more than likely you're going to be able to get it. Now, on most cruise lines with the drink packages, it's not just about alcohol. You can actually get coffee, get free bottled waters, you get energy drinks, you get sodas. So it's not just about the alcohol. There are many benefits to getting drink packages. In fact, they actually have drink packages just for children that don't cost as much, but they are an option. And if you're trying to justify whether it's worth it or not to purchase a drink package, one way that I personally justify it to myself is I try at least one drink or two drinks per day that I've never had, whether it's a shot or a mixed drink. That makes it worth it alone to me because I've never had it. It's a new experience and I don't have to pay for it at this time. I've already paid for it. That alone helps me out personally. Now make sure before you purchase the drink package that you look at the policies and procedures because some of the cruise lines require everybody in your room that's 21 and over to purchase the drink package while other cruise lines let you purchase it on an individual basis. Purchasing drinks individually, or as I call them, a la carte. It's an option. I don't typically do it anymore. Ever since I purchased my first drink package, I've kind of been spoiled. So there's nothing like getting your receipt after you order a drink and it has all zeros on it. So drink packages are my thing now. But if you do want to do a la carte, here's a typical little kind of breakdown for you. 
uh, the typical cost for drinks is around six to ten dollars. That's for your average drink, whether it be mixed drink or beer or whatever it is, tropical drink. About six to eight to ten bucks. Somewhere in between there is your average drink. Now, one thing I kind of consider a la carte or individual is when you buy bottles of liquor from the onboard shops, you got to be careful because a lot of people think that you can just get on board and just buy alcohol from the shops. Well, no. When you buy something from those onboard shops, well, let me rephrase that. When you buy alcohol from the onboard shops, you don't get that bottle of liquor until the end of the cruise. So don't think that you're just going to a la carte a bottle from the shop. <laughs> now, one of my favorite things to do on a cruise is to bar hop. I love going to different bars and specialty bars and ordering specialty drinks and all of that good stuff. Oh, yes. Let me explain a little bit. On the cruise ships, you have your regular bars, then you have some specialty bars. Let me give you a little example. One of my favorite bars to go to is called the Alchemy Bar on Carnival Cruise Line. What they do is they dress up like scientists and they make drinks to cure your ailments. I like stuff like this. It gives me a, a reason to go there. Uh, another example is Royal Caribbean. They have a bar called the Rising Tide Bar where it actually goes up and down as you're drinking. It goes up and down. I don't know if you guys understand quite what I'm saying, but it goes up and down as you're drinking. It's, it's just, it's incredible. Uh, you have the ice bar, Norwegian Cruise Line. They have the ice bar where the bar itself is made out of ice. It's cold in there. It's just a cool experience. I mean, these are the type of things that you can do on a cruise ship. They have these different themes and there's a lot more. These are just some of them. I mean, come on. Make sure that you get out and experience the different specialty bars. At least have a drink or two, you know, kind of get away from the regular bars. If you like drinking, especially if you get a drink package, because you can use those drink packages at all of these specialty bars. So why not go to these bars, experience them, record, film some stuff, talk about them, recommend them to your friends, have some specialty drinks. Just, just get down. You will enjoy it, believe me. I'm actually going to make a separate video just about specialty bars. All right, so before we start talking about buying drinks in port, let's talk about the ages of buying drinks in port. Now on the cruise ships, you have to be 21 years of age to purchase alcoholic drinks. But in a lot of the ports, you actually only have to be 18 to purchase alcoholic drinks. And believe me, I know this because my daughter is 18 right now. She'll be 19 this year and she's already done all this research and she's been like, Dad, I'm going to drink when we go to Cozumel and blah, 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 blah. Whatever, girl. I love my girl. But anyway... So drinking while you're at port, it's the same as drinking on the ship. It's the same as drinking while you're at home. Drinking is drinking. One of the main things I wanted to speak about drinking while you're at port is do not miss the ship. Don't fall asleep. Don't get too drunk to where you can't get back onto the ship at, on time. That will be a problem, especially if you don't have a passport you are going to have some issues. So just make sure you don't miss the ship. If you think you're gonna have a problem with falling asleep or getting too drunk, keep someone with you that's gonna wake you up or have some type of alarm, something. Do not miss the ship. Let's talk about tipping. 
Now your gratuities, you can prepay all your gratuities ahead of time. They'll charge it to your card and all that good stuff. But on top of that, one thing that I do to ensure that I'm going to have a good time is I still tip individual bartenders and mixologists on top of the gratuities that I'm already paying. And the reason is this, they're human beings. So the more you pay them, the more they're going to like you, the better your drinks are going to be. They're going to know your name. They're going to know what drinks you like. You're going to see them at different bars throughout the cruise. So wherever you go, there's a chance that they might be there. This is what I'm saying. People listen, they are human beings. You tip them. They're going to take care of you. This is from experience. I'm telling you this because I know I'm not talking about any rules, what they're supposed to do or anything like that. I do know from all of my cruises, from tipping certain bartenders that I like from day one, they start learning you. They start knowing your name. They will say, hey, Chris, what's up, my man? You want a blue Long Island? And I'm like, Bashir, my man, you know I want a blue Long Island, baby. You know, things like that. It just feels special. You'll feel special. So just make sure you tip, you know, a dollar, 50 cents, two dollar, whatever. Here's what I do. Me personally. Almost every drink that I drink, I tip a dollar. So I do give a lot of money away. But to me, it's not giving it away. It's helping them and in helping them, they're helping me have a better time than I could be. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Just do it. Just try it. You don't have to do a dollar per drink or whatever. Just just tip. You know, you get your favorite bartenders, tip them and just watch how your experience takes place.